Hello FlossTube, this is Kate, Madam Ice, and welcome back to my FlossTube channel. Today is Saturday, June 22nd, 2019. I'm going to try to start saying the date now at the beginning because I realize I don't do it. And it's probably a good habit and I want to be like a real floss tuber and everything. So it seems like all the real floss tubers do that. So I'm going to start doing it. But uh, anyways, I want to start out by saying hello to everyone who decided to stop in and visit me today. I'm very excited to see you. Um, I want to just really quickly mention I haven't gone back and done any of my commenting on my last video yet. I will do that today while this one is uploading. I just haven't gotten around to it, but I have read most of them, I think, because when the notification comes up on my phone, I just go ahead and read it then. And I wanted to talk about one of the comments from my last video, which um, asked me where Madame Ice comes from. So I thought I would tell you the story. It is a little bit of a story, so grab a drink, grab a snack, you know, I don't know how long it's going to take me to explain this. but. Uh, it kind of starts with my job, so um, my, I work on a naval base here in Charleston, um, and my position there, I'm, I'm a contractor, I'm not in the Navy, I'm not a naval officer or anything like that, but I'm a contractor who works very closely with naval personnel there, and I work in training, um, so the the qualification that I did that I have and what I do um, I get kind of treated like a naval officer but I'm not I'm not a naval officer um, but when I'm standing that watch station I, I get treated as one um, but anyways so you know in the Navy right people go by their last names um, <laughs> ensign this lieutenant this whatever and uh, my last name confuses people on how to pronounce it a lot. So my last name is Berg, um, and people had a lot of troubles remembering how to say it because it's not spelled easily. So they started remembering it by saying ice <laughs> in front of it, so iceberg. So for a while, I was, you know, Mrs. Iceberg. <laughs> Like, that was just how people would say it so that they could remember how to say it. Um, and then, you know, another part of, you know, military things that people call female officers ma'am. So, I get called ma'am a lot and some people say madam instead of ma'am. And so, <laughs> it kind of circled around to being Madam Iceberg for a while and then it got shortened down to Madam Ice and... Long story short, it's a real life nickname that some people at work call me. Obviously not everyone would call me that, but some of some of the people at work and some of the naval personnel around, they call me Madam Ice. And so I stole it and made it my name on YouTube and for my Etsy shop. And I told him I was the guy who really started calling me that, although it's kind of spread. Um I did tell him that I was going to steal the name, and he was fine with that. So, anyways, that's why I'm called Madam Ice. It's a real life thing. Um, yeah. And I will go back and I will comment on all of your videos while this is uploading. Deal? Hold me to it. Okay. Um, I have less of a plan today than usual, so I just made a stack. This is the first thing on my stack. I don't know if you know what this is, but it's, um, Krynik makes it. It's a cord, cording maker thing. I don't know what the real name is, but, um, Vanna Pfeiffer, the Twisted Stitcher, she uses it, um, to make all of her cording. Just a second. I'm writing down the Twisted Stitcher, so I remember to link her below. That reminds me. My last video, I said that I was going to insert a picture of Stella um, pouting next to my whiteboard, and I forgot about it. So, how about right now, before I talk about this nifty little thing, I'm going to go ahead and insert a couple pictures of Stella. The one that I was talking about, and then a couple others just to make up for it. Cute puppy pictures. Now.
All right, I hope you liked the cute, adorable pictures of Miss Stella. Uh, and I will go back to this now. So, Vanna Pfeiffer, the Twisted Stitcher, she uses this to make all of her cording for all of her finishing and stuff. And she's got a video on how to use it. And I bought it because I thought that it would be really cool to make my own cording. But then I was scared of it, even though I watched her videos and stuff. But my friend Susan, who's opening Fire Poppies, she's going to StitchCon with me um, next weekend. And so for her small, we decided we wanted to make some cording to put around it. And so it forced me to use this thing. And let me tell you, this is pretty fun. <laughs> it's pretty fun to use. You just like sit there and it's like you're fishing. It's pretty fun. If you're at all interested in starting to make your own cording, I would, for finishing and stuff, not only is it useful and neat that you're making your own cording, but it's super fun. So that's the first thing on my pile. Uh, next thing on my pile. It looks like whips is next. Oh, also, can we just take a second? Look at my hair. I'm very happy with my hair today. All right. The reason I'm very happy with it is because I used to have long hair and when I had really long hair, I would braid it all the time and I love braiding hair. Um, it's my preferred method of doing my hair is to braid it in some way, shape or form. So I used to do stuff like this all the time, but <clears throat> probably like a year and a half ago, I went to the hairdresser when I was emotional one day and I was <laughs> made a spur of the moment decision that my hair was too heavy and giving me too many headaches. So I told her to just chop it all off. And by chop it all off, I mean, I didn't go like super short, but you know, like shoulder length, which was pretty short for me. Um, and I've been waiting for it to grow out since because I didn't hate it. I don't hate my hair shorter, but I miss my long hair all the time. So anyways, this braid is a sign that it's getting longer because I can actually braid it and it stays over my shoulder now. And there's not a whole bunch of like little frizzies coming out of it all over the place. I'm very excited to be able to braid my hair again. Whips. The first thing I'm going to show you is my hashtag. 12, 12 months of Christmas style hosted by Caitlin, a stitch for mom. And this is what it will look like in the end. It's by Lizzie Kate. Christmas rules. Let me focus that. Oh. Opposite of focused. Okay. There we go. So that's what it will look like in the end. I'm doing a blue conversion. And I'm stitching it on 40 count uh, Helix by Picture This Plus. And I finished this last rule for the month. I'm pretty sure I didn't show this to you in the last video because I'm pretty sure it wasn't done yet. But in case I did, this might just be a repeat. So sorry about that. But I don't think I showed it to you. Anyways, so no pouting. And the red in this one, there's a red button that'll go right here to make it like a little holly plant. And that's getting washed out a little bit. There, That's a little bit truer to color. The Helix is like a light blue gray. Anyways, I'm loving how this is turning out. We're halfway done. <sighs> cool. So there's that. And the next whip I have to show you is um, Four Corners by Little House Needleworks. All right. That's what it will look like when it's done. And this is where I am on it. Now this fabric, <laughs> this, I think it's 32 count. Um, I don't know if it's 32 count or 28 count, but um, this fabric is Dill Lugana by Picture This Plus. And if you watch Stephanie at Lindy Stitches, <laughs> um, in her last video, she talked about this fabric and how ugly it is. Uh, and I, I mean, it's not my most favorite fabric, but she was 
really upset when she got it in the mail because she accidentally ordered Lugana instead of linen and it dyes differently. So the picture online shows it as more of a brown and less of an orange. But when you get it, it's this orange color. And I will admit, when I first got this, I had kind of a similar reaction. I thought that maybe I had accidentally ordered the wrong thing or something, but it is definitely dill by picture this plus and um yeah it dies much more orange in lugana than in linen she actually called i think <laughs> to make sure they sent her the right thing in it it is but anyways i think it works for this piece in particular um like i said not my most favorite fabric but i think it'll look good on this and it's not even really showing how orange it is on there that's kind of better you can kind of see how orange orange it is but um on this piece so i want to finish this before stitchcon next week which means i have to finish this entire block in the next couple days i can do it guys i i believe in myself i can do it but i just wanted to focus in on this little block this is my favorite thing i think it's just the most adorable like look at this giant tree and that floss that's used for it is just so cute and this little deer and this white is um eggshell by classic colorworks and this gray i love love this gray in this house it's called pebble beach and i know that i have an old skein because it still says crescent colorworks on it instead of classic colorworks so i really hope that this um, color hasn't really changed since then because I love it it is so such a pretty gray but anyways I love this block and I hate the north this is the north block I don't like snow and I hate is probably a strong word I don't hate the north but I'm from the northern places because I'm from Iowa and I just I don't like the cold I don't like it at all and I'm a fan of the southern culture I like the southern United States. I like the warmth. I would rather sweat than shiver. Not very many people say that. But anyways, so I don't even like what this represents, really. But it is adorable. I freaking love it. Anyways, that's where we are. That's probably enough jibber-jabber about that. But, <clears throat> okay. So the next thing I want to talk about is, I think we'll just talk about StitchCon now because it's a good time. I'm trying to figure out what I want to bring to StitchCon with me. Um, and I want to have four corners done. I might bring it just to show it off um, for the bride table because I do actually really like how it's turning out. Um, I think I'm going to bring Christmas rules. Even though I'm done with the rule for this month, I might just get a head start on the one for next month while I'm there um I think um what other one was I gonna bring oh I'm gonna bring the stitch nine challenge piece that I'm trying to finish next month which is winter woods by Mill Hill I don't have a picture of it but um, I've shown it in the past. I think I'm going to bring that, try to get a kickstart on that for next month, maybe, if I feel like it. Um, I think for the brag table, I also might bring uh, this guy. Uh, December 26th, which I know I've shown him before, but this is my, my uh, self-design piece um yeah because I'm pretty proud of that I think the palm tree in particular turned out really cool so I thought maybe um some people would like to see it in person just because the variegation turned out really neat on it it might inspire someone who knows um and then I am going to bring a new piece um that I want to start right before I go because I don't want to start it there because I might screw up like the starting place and everything like that because I don't know how chatty chatty I will be but I am gonna start a new one and I'm it's a self-design again so I'm not gonna 
really talk to you about what it is. Hopefully I'll be able to finish it shortly after I get back from StitchCon. But I will show you the fabric that I'm stitching on because it's pretty freaking awesome. Look at this fabric. There we go. That shows it much better. Look at it. Isn't it so pretty? I bought this um, right after Nashville this year because uh, Susan had it from her Nashville haul and I looked at it and I was like I like that a lot and then I went home and I thought about it I thought about it and then this idea for design specifically for this fabric kind of popped into my brain or it rather it inspired me for a design so then um, I decided to buy it and anyways it's called I should probably tell you what it's called it's called this Inga Meta by Painter's Threads. And this is, I think they have a whole series of um, fabrics that they based off of artists and like art, particular artist styles. And so this is an artist, I think. Um, I think it's an artist. Mary Rose from Stitch Plus Corner would probably be disappointed because I don't. But I'm pretty sure that's an artist. Um, and I I just, I fell in love with this piece of fabric. So, um, I, I don't know. I'll probably, I might show you parts of it again. Kind of like I did with December 26th when I was stitching it. But I just, I'd rather just not show it until I get it all the way done. But just again, look at this fabric. It's so pretty. Isn't it? Okay. Oh, and those lines... The fold lines, I've been working all morning to get them out. And they have actually gotten better than they were when I first, like, unfolded it this morning. But, um, you know, a lot of times I'll, I will spritz just a little bit of water on fabric to get, you know, hard fold lines out like that. But I'm really nervous with that one in particular that it will make it run. And it would totally ruin, I think, the fabric if it ran. <laughs> Or if it's spotted or something that would really it would just it would kill me if that happened so I am trying very hard to do it with just a dry iron and get those um, folds out but it's kind of difficult oh it looks like next up on my pile is haul I don't really have very much so I did go ahead and get the next month Christmas rules um, the next month will be keep the schedule light and the one after that will be share your toys. So I've got those, which is good. Um, while I was ordering that from 123 Stitch, I got these needle threaders. And um, these are my favorite needle, needle thread. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, these are my favorite needle threaders. And... They just seem to work better for me than other types like the ones that look kind of like this but are just a hook on the end. These work better for me for some reason. Um, but I only have one of them because my friend Ursula gave me it and uh, Stella got it and <laughs> she chewed on it a little bit. So the end of it is kind of like wavy and wonky so it doesn't go through the needle as well as it used to. So I went ahead and got that. Um, and then I just ordered some needles. Um, I got this. What is this? It is a lamp. It's an LED lamp with three settings that I'm planning on taking to StitchCon with me. It folds up really nice. I got it from Amazon. This is the brand. And of course I had to get like a pink one because why would I get a boring white one or a silver one or something like that? Um, and it's a USB charged LED light. I don't know if I'll need it or not, but I wanted to bring it. I will say that I'm I'm going to carry it in the box that it came in because this button to turn it on is extremely sensitive. Like you can see it just turned on. Like I just barely just tap it. <laughs> So I'm worried that if I just put it in my stuff, it'll turn on and run out of battery. And 
stuff like that. Um, and the last thing I have today to talk about is knitting. Oh, I did it. I did a thing. I started knitting. Um, I watched the tutorials from Caroline at Off the Grid Needle Arts, uh, her Teach Gerald to Knit series, and um, I knit a dishcloth. And I know that I said in my last video, I don't want to knit a dishcloth or anything like that, but I was convinced that it's good for like washing your face at night, and I was convinced that it would be a good starting point for me. So this is what I started with. Um, and I think it turned out pretty good. Pretty well. Um, it's a little bit wonky down there in the corner. It kind of, this corner kind of extends. But overall, I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out. The, I almost called it thread that I used. And then I was like, that's not right. And then I was like, floss definitely floss and then I was like wait that's not right either yarn is the word I'm looking for so yarn that I use is this sugar and cream um, it's just like a nice navy color I'm pretty sure that I could make another one out of this so I'll, I'll probably bring this to stitch con to you mm, just in case I get tired of cross stitching the likelihood of that is pretty low let's be honest I'm I don't think I'll get tired of cross stitching, but just in case, I will bring this little ball of yarn and maybe make another dishcloth because you can't wash your face. Well, I do laundry once a week because I hate laundry, so I do it once a week. I just save it all for Sundays usually because I put it off. I like I tell myself I'll do it on Saturday, but then. It's not until Sunday when it's like, okay, I really have to do it now before I go back to tomorrow. So, anyways, um, I really don't like laundry, so I would only wash this once a week. And you can't wash face with the same washcloth for an entire week. You probably can. I don't want to. So, I'm going to make a few of these so that I can use them through the week. That was probably too much information about my life or weird information that no one cares about. Sorry about that. Hmm. I guess that's a good sign. Maybe I should go. <laughs> I'm oversharing now. So um, I will just uh, end it here for today. I'm very happy that y'all came to say hello. And I'm sorry for the rambling. I'm just, I guess, in that mood today. Um, but it was really nice to chat with you all. And thank you so much for stopping by. I love y'all. Bye.